Hey guys and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Katie and I'm an English Literature and Philosophy student studying at Cardiff University. If you are new, please do hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this video. So let's get on. So today's video is all about studying English Lit at the university. So I did one of these videos last year, but um, I had someone comment on it with loads more questions that they wanted me to answer. So that's basically what I'm doing now. I'm gonna basically talk a little bit more in depth about what an English Lit degree at undergrad actually kind of looks like and the kind of work that I have to do for it and that kind of thing basically. Sorry if you can hear any noise, I've got my window open simply because it's really hot and the sun coming in makes this room really hot so I just can't not have the window open but there shouldn't be that much noise, I live on a relatively quiet road. So the first thing that um, I was asked was whether you lose your love for reading doing an English Lit degree. I think this is definitely a completely like personal thing. I think that everyone will probably have a different answer. Personally, I wasn't actually a massive reader ever. I just really enjoyed the analytical side of English. I really enjoyed like analysing words and stuff. That's why I chose to do an English degree. It wasn't necessarily because I loved reading because I was never a very active reader as a child. However, since coming to uni, and especially this year in particular, I have read so much more and I enjoy reading far, far more than I did when I was a kid. I have a lot more interest in it. I try and read every single day now and I try and read things outside of my degree, like for pleasure rather than just for my degree, because personally, obviously doing English Lit, you have to read some more serious books. I quite like YA genre still and like romance and things like that so I like to try and balance my uni reading with my own reading. Okay so I've also been asked what exams are like. Now I can only speak for Cardiff here, I cannot really speak for other unis but I assume that other unis are similar. Every single module is different in how it's assessed. So I took one English module this term, as I said I'm joint honours so I do three English modules a year and then three philosophy. So I had two last term and one this term in English. So this term I didn't have an exam for English, it's simply one really large essay, it was 3,200 words, so on one question you have to do it on two texts and pretty much every single module will have those kind of assessments. It doesn't really matter what the, sorry that's my laptop, it doesn't really matter what the subject is itself that you're studying but you'll pretty much have essays that you have to write and those are completely dependent on the module itself as well like if it's poetry then it will be like compare these two poems but there'll be like a whole list of different questions you can pick from normally like there's 11 or 12 I think or modules tend to have a theme running throughout them so I know that my current module that I just wrote an essay for, yeah my current module that I just wrote an essay for didn't have specific questions for each of the texts, they were more like questions on the different themes that were occurring in different parts of the text and then you could pick which two texts you were going to compare and that's the same for a lot of like the novel ones. In terms of exams, they are close reading ones normally in English, so I've had one English exam this year which was a romantic poetry. So that one, we were told they were on, the exam was on Blake, so it was gonna be, there was five different questions that it could have been, um, because it was five specific pairs of poems from Songs of Innocence and Songs of Experience. So we knew that what pairs they'd come up in, and the question would always be compare and contrast these two poems. Um, so I just revised like all of them, and figured out what I'd say for all of them. So that was quite a basic exam. My English exam last year was actually on novels so we got extracts of the novels that we'd studied and it was like again a compare and contrast thing and there was different questions within there with different extracts of different novels I believe. I can't entirely remember. Kind of like that, it's close reading. You need to know a little bit about the text but like you could go into it blind and do okay but it's better to know what you're doing because then you're like prepared and you can get the higher marks. So that's kind of what exams are like. I've also been asked what the best classes to take are and what are required classes. Again, this is uni specific. If you're planning on coming to Cardiff, then English Lit has 
one required module which is called critical reading and writing and everyone does that in first year and it's basically just teaching you the skills that you need for a university degree in English through different texts so it's a mixture of poetry and novels and plays that kind of thing so um yeah that's the only one we were required to take everything else we have full control of and there's loads of different optional modules and honestly the best ones to take it just depends on what you personally like I personally like poetry and also kind of more modern texts so I tend to go for those modules so like this year I've done contemporary poetry romantic poetry because I love romantic poetry um, and then a girls module which I think I've spoken about before but it was how the girls perceived in different texts and most of them were modern like we did Bridget Jones Mean Girls was a text even though it was a film that kind of thing so it just depends what you're interested in and I definitely say choose the modules that you're interested in because you're going to do better if you're interested in the subject um, also pick ones that if you have a career path in mind pick ones that are going to work for that career path so that you can talk about in interviews for your like job that you want to get after you graduate right so she's also said that people have told her it's a lot of reading it is a lot of reading yeah so I personally only take three modules so I have less reading because philosophy has like essays rather than um, novels to read. In most modules you will have a different text every single week and our terms are 10 weeks so 10 teaching weeks each term so you're gonna have 10 texts per module if you do full like a full English degree you'll have six modules at Cardiff so that's 60 books to read plus critical analysis reading on top of that so uh, it's it genuinely does depend on what modules you pick because um, last term I did two poetry modules so I was reading poems and poems are obviously a lot shorter than novels each week I'd be reading like four or five poems a week rather than a novel um, but if you've got like three three novel modules in one term, you're going to be reading three mo three novels every single week, and that is a lot of reading. My tip with that is to, as soon as you get the reading list, like before the term starts, start your reading, get it done. I did all of my reading for spring term last summer, so I did it six months in advance because I knew that I'd have ten novels to read and honestly it helped me so much and then I didn't have to worry about reading every single week I could just focus on actually engaging with the text rather than trying to get through it so I knew what was going on so it is dependent on what modules you take but yeah it's a lot of reading you're going to be reading between one and three books a week on average I'd say unless you do it all beforehand but it's like most people don't do it beforehand okay the other and final couple of questions that I've been asked is what exactly do you do in lectures and how do you actually work on the texts? So personally when I am reading a text for uni, I was just looking over there to see if I could see any of my uni texts but I've taken all of them home because I have finished English for the year already. Um, personally when I'm reading them I have a highlighter and I kind of highlight things that I think are like not relevant because I haven't studied it yet but things that I think are important to the text so that I'll be able to find them easier when the time comes to use the text. In lectures the so we have two types of class you have lectures and seminars so in a lecture it's basically someone talking at you between one two hours about the text about the themes within the text about the author um, kind of going into what the text means, um, what time period it was written in, what the historical context is, what the social context was, what the reception was like, um, and obviously the lecturer's own views on that particular text. So that's kind of lectures, you kind of sit there, you listen, you take notes. And then seminars is where, as a student, you can engage with the text, with your lecturer, as well as other students. We normally sit in like horseshoe shape and talk about the books and especially in relation to key themes that's kind of what happens um, and then in terms of working on the books after that I tend to like to pick my essay question really close to the beginning of the module so that I can start doing my critical work towards it quite quickly and like early on so I have time to research and read so what I would then do is once I've picked my books and my essay question is look up 
any journal articles that are about that text in relation to the topic I'm talking about or about the text or about the topic and see if it can work for my essay question. I'll also go through the novels and go through all of those quotes that I've highlighted and write down all the ones that are relevant to the question. And then I condense that and I condense the quotes I found from the journal articles and it's quite a long process and that's just how my brain works. Everyone else's brain works differently so different people work on the text in different ways. But yeah, in terms of class, you've got a lecture where they're talking about the text and their views on it and the issues surrounding it and then you've got a seminar where you're talking as a group about it and exploring different ideas within it. Anyway that is all the questions that I've been asked and I'm trying to think whether there's anything else I can say really but I don't think there is off the top of my head but if you do have any more questions in regards to what studying English Lit at uni is like then please do leave them in the comments down below. As I said before if you did enjoy this video please do subscribe it would mean the world to me and don't forget to like this video too and I will see you in my next one.